Hello, coffee lovers. I'm uh, Giorgio Milos, a master barista for Illy Cafe, and I'm here today to share my tricks, my secrets, my knowledge about uh, milk, steaming, coffee, and so on with you today. So usually the best milk you can use, you know, is regular milk, whole milk. The uh, lipid content in the whole milk can really highlight the beautiful flavors of the espresso. So the fat parts of the milk can uh, really announce those aromatic components because fats, lipids, are aroma carriers. So you really extract more flavors from the coffee thanks to, uh, to the milk. But we know uh, there are uh, uh, different choices. Uh, we can find on the mar on market almond milk, uh, soy milk, uh, coconut milk, uh, hemp, uh, many other rice, many other uh, alternative milk, let's say. Regular soy milk or almond milk are very hard to foam up, let's say, uh, simply because are not milk. So we need some elements to uh, really foam up the milk, uh, and fat is one of them. So, for example, when you steam uh, skim milk, skim milk is zero fat and makes a lot of foam, but the foam is, let's say, unstable because there is no that uh, oil layer, lipid layer that protect the small bubbles in the foam and, it, and, and, let them, and they let the foam last much longer. So a skim milk foam collapses pretty quickly. That's exactly what happens when you don't have lipids. So when you steam up regular soy milk you buy at the uh, grocery store, you, make, you can make a lot of foam, but the foam is very unstable and collapses very quickly. So there are forward thinker uh, milk producers, uh, alternative milk producers that they change the formula of their, um, uh, their products. So in this case, we're using Pacific, that is one of them that uh, produce what is, what they call the barista series. So there is other elements inside of the milk that help to maintain the thickness of the foam for longer time. Um, there are no lipids, there are other things, okay? Uh, of all natural, of course. Um, the, the steaming technique uh, of whole milk or alternative uh, uh, milks is pretty much the same. You're gonna introduce your. You're gonna introduce the air in order to make the foam. And what you want to do is to let the milk spin in order to reduce the bubbles you're making when you introduce the air in very small, small, small bubbles. So now I have uh, all the foam on the top and liquid and uh, liquid milk on the bottom. So what you want to do if you see if you look if you see some bubbles on top, you want to tap on the counter. And then the next step is very fundamental. You need to swirl the pitcher in order to spin the milk inside and the milk change completely. The surface of the milk become shining. When it's shining or like a, you know, a kind of yogurt-like or fresh wet paint, it's ready for pouring. So let's do it. You know, it's like a nice glass of wine. You swirl and here we are. It's very shining and elastic. So now, you always pour from a higher position, so you want to purse the coffee. And then you move down, you increase the speed, so you have a nice white foam uh, in the center with nice brown shade uh, around it. It's very hard to make, a, let's say, a good traditional foaming cappuccino uh, with uh, not uh, barista serious alternative milk. So my suggestion is, make up nice latte, let's say, with a little bit, maybe a little bit more foam. So introduce no much air into the milk uh, um, when you steam it. So the less air you introduce, the longer the, the foam can stay in, let's say, in a good condition. So I hope you're gonna enjoy uh, my explanation and I hope you're gonna use my tips. Thank you.